Hey, Astro Nurse, Dwarf 2 owners. Everything started with Dwarf 2. That's my first love with Smart Telescope. Today, it's November 5th. I've been testing the new app for the Dwarf 2. Right now, uh, as I speak, they already have the live uh, version. I was doing the beta testing for Dwarf Lab <laughs> in the middle of the super moon last night. And also I started practicing the night before with 99% illumination of the moon. And I got some great results. I have a couple of problems too I wanna share with you, but it is what it is. This is an amazing, great little telescope. So the battery is fully charged right now so I was lucky <laughs> that I got the moon right here on the first try uh, let me try now the uh, out of focus and see if it gets sharper So let me just try focusing here a little more, and this may be a little problem for tonight. Um, so it seems like there's not doing much on focusing. Let me do an autofocus again. I sent a message to a Dwarf Lab asking about the not wanting to focus well. They said that this is a problem that they're having. We just need to try two or three times. And if not, then it's all on the editing. So there it goes. Um, now, uh, let me go and see here and do solar system and moon. Do it now. Uh, done already. Um, and now it's going to do the searching. It's tracking the moon, so I can do more focusing right now. So I'm just kind of like, uh, leave it like that. I am trying to uh, do uh, focusing now manually, as you can hear but it's not improving, so I'm going to leave it just like that and then rely on editing, some sharp. So I guess now the next step, it's just going to see the parameters here. So let's see, normally, let me go a little bit at 250, what they recommend is too bright. I am at gain zero. And it's a very bright moon, this is 99% and tomorrow is the hunter's moon, so it's the brightest moon of the year. <laughs> Um, so let me just go ahead and do the parameters here. Let's see, VIS uh, filter, let me just do 20 images. So this is the new screen for uh, the imaging session and we see here the uh, shutter button is working. And here on the top, uh, the new icon showing the frames taken is right now four out of 20 and then on the right side those are the stack ones and it should be about now two stack images one of the best features that the dwarf 2 telescope has we can use filters look i can use different filters for luminance all kind of things that uh, the Dwarf 3 doesn't have, and I will think the Mini doesn't have that. Uh, going to use Optolong filter. Uh, this one, it's a filter for a moon and sky glows. This filter is going to reduce the sky glow. It's going to make the background darker, and it's actually made for nebulas, galaxies, but also can be used for the moon. <laughs> It's probably going to help a lot also with the light pollution. So let's just take a look and see what happens. I just put the up to long moon filter at 1.25. And now we're going to see a difference. Just go back here, go to the parameters. And I think I'm going to leave them at probably the same way. Uh, and we're just going to start imaging and see what happens. 
Okay, so it's very important. Get familiar with all of this before you go out there in the middle of the night. Be sure to do this download and everything, the database, all of that. Check the dark frames. I get this problem a lot. Thank God that I am quick. I've been doing this for a while with the other telescopes. I go in a hurry and I am trying to do all of this uh, as I go. If you are new into astrophotography and using the any of the dwarf telescopes, I highly recommend once again all of their community pages. So they have one right now for Dwarf 3 and the Dwarf Mini, which is coming. I'm going to receive this one in a few days. They have one for the Dwarf 2. Uh, Dwarf 2 three and mini owners as a very fun page to watch and has all kind of information and all kind of debates and things in comparison which is very exciting i personally like that i'm going to invite you to watch the upcoming videos with the live sessions with the dwarf too we're still rocking and doing really good 